His opponent coming into the red corner, representing Germany, Yuri the Brain King. Yuri Kale with a nice round of applause here. Made his debut back in 2005 and has been very successful in both kickboxing and Muay Thai. I think that he actually prefers the Muay Thai rules. However, in this one, he's gonna have to dial it back a little bit because this is under glory rules. Interesting, I find it very interesting that this fight is under glory rules. This is Mixed Fight Gala. You've got WLF being represented here as well, the Wu Lin Feng promotion. Nice co-promoting, by the way. But why would this fight be under glory rules? Perhaps glory well, as in this young man's future. Fighters. The man in the blue corner. He holds a professional record of seven wins, two losses. Two of his victories coming by way of knockout. He is 22 years old, weighing 1 meter 76 tall. Weighing in 70.1 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of China, ladies and gentlemen, Bang Peng Fei! <laughs> opponent across the ring, out of the red corner. He holds a professional record of 39 wins, 5 losses. 13 of his victories coming by way of knockout. 25 years old. Staying 1 meter 84 tall, weighing in 70.4 kilograms. He is a three times world Muay Thai champion. Fighting tonight out of Germany, Germany, ladies and gentlemen, Yuri the Brave King. Three rounds of three minutes in this one, as will all fights be on this edition of Mixed Fight Gala, no matter what the rules are. Nobody. Referee Never. Niu Cao no. Wang, with last Don't instructions, three. has okay. made the journey here along with the WLF team. As we are set for action, Yuri Kale of Germany and Wang Peng Fei of China. Judge, judge. There goes the bell and we are underway here at Mixed Fight Gala 19 and these guys are not wasting any time here and this one is Kale looking for the clinch early on. Referee Stop. letting it go. This is glory rules so th this referee may be used to the Wing Wu Lin Feng rules but as far as I know in, in glory you've got Five seconds maximum, and you're allowed one shot, so. Nice head kick by Kale, who has a, a, a very obvious height advantage. So much easier for him to reach the head than it is break, break, for his break, opponent. Break. There's that head kick again by Kale. Look at how, look at how long his limbs are. He's got extremely okay. long arms and legs in a completely different body structure than his opponent, Wang Pengfei. Nice little knee on the inside by both guys, actually. As they tumble to the ground hard, very, very hard. And it looks to me like Wang took the worst of that one. Kale moving forward, extending those long legs, trying to reach his opponent. Break, 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 break. On the inside now, Kale holding on to his opponent. Seems to me like Kale seems a lot more confident and smooth in there as Wang tried a jumping spin kick and got caught right in midair. all over the place here. 
Kale, in that southpaw stance, lands a nice knee, solid knee, right above the navel of Wang. One, one knee, okay. Referee warning, I believe it's just about one action, perhaps. Solid kick, whoa, he almost went down for the count there. He's got lifted up at about the horizon line on the ring on the top rope. Nice knee to the head. Kale is very apt at using those knees. Something that Wang has really got to take into consideration here. Spinning back fist. This place is hot and heavy. Final 10 seconds here, and it looks like Wang could be in trouble. Nice sidekick that time by Wang. Very unorthodox type of maneuver there from him and uh, that is the end of round number one. Okay. Enrico in the corner of his brother giving some advice, some words of encouragement. He'll be fighting later on in the evening against Hu Yafei of China, also representing WLF, Wu Lin Feng, one of the hottest promotions in the world right now. I'll tell you what, you put your finger on the pulse of the current kickboxing scene, and China is taking the world by storm. You can see Yu Jiambo in the corner of, of Wang, trying to give him some encouragement. Round number two underway here. Yuri Kale of Germany in the black and blue. And Wang Pengfei of China representing Wu Lin Feng in the white. Kale seemed to have had Wang's number here in that first round as he goes back to work with the knees. I'd be willing to bet he's landed more knees than punches in this fight. He is very, very apt at using those knees, it's almost like a third hand for him. Well, I think that Wang is really having trouble here with, with the reach advantage. Yuri Kale is, is a very, very long fighter. He's, he's very tall and very thin. He's like a bean pole. And Wang Penfei is doing his best to try to get inside, but he has yet to come up with an effective game plan. And on the inside, it's all Kale as well. You want to fight in close and use those knees. Kale is fighting very effectively with those. Right hand, Kale comes marching in. There's a side kick of his own. Minute 30 left in, the, in change, the Chinese corner really imploring their fighter to take advantage of the fact that Kale was in the corner. Kale nailed another knee. I'll tell you what, you got to give this guy credit because uh, he is really, really taking a lot of knees and he really hasn't slowed down all that much yet. Spinning maneuver attempted by the Chinaman as Kale really nails him, stretching out with that push kick. Very effective technique by him. Landed right in the abdominals. And that's just going to add punishment on top of punishment. Over a three round fight, those things really start to add up as we are inside 30 seconds here in round number two at Mixed Fight Gala 19. Head kick by Kale. Down goes the Chinaman. Was that a knockdown or a slip? Looked like a slip to me, and up he comes. And that one was questionably low. Referee calling for them to get it back on here. Not much time left, and there we go.
Well, in my opinion, I would say that Kale is ahead on the scorecards, two rounds to zero. And Wang Pengfei is really going to have to come up with something here. He needs something big. Kale's knees, his head kicks, his work on the inside, so much abdominal work by him. That slows down your opponent, takes the wind out of him. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. From Fightbox HD, Mixed Fight Gala 19, coming your way here. The Fraport Arena in Frankfurt, Germany. And this place is rocking for Wu Fin Leng versus Mixed Fight Gala. If you're keeping track at home, it is two to two for both teams. Not that the winning team really wins anything, besides pride. And sometimes that's the most important of all. Round three in this glory rules matchup between Yuri Kale and Wang Peng. Fai and down he goes again, another slip. I don't know how many times this kid's been on the canvas so far, but more times than he cares to remember. And down he goes again, nice shot by Kale right behind the knee. Back to work with the knees. Referee warning him, one action in the clinch, and I think he's gonna actually deduct the point now. That's that's more than, that's maybe been the third warning or so. This crowd here in Germany not very happy about that, but rules are rules. Looks like Wang was starting to get the hang of that kick, but Kale's right back where he left off. That Muay Thai background of Kale coming into play is just absolutely dominating in the clinch. Look at that head kick. That one rocked him. Wang had his eyes crossed there temporarily as Kale now moving back in. Wild swing and a miss that time by the Chinaman. In the corner, Kale closing in on him, wraps him up. As I mentioned, kind of odd that uh, this matchup would be fought under glory rules. Why, when you have Mixed Fight Gala and Wu Lin Feng in competition, would the fight be under glory rules? Makes me speculate that perhaps as Wang gets tossed to the ground like a rag doll, that perhaps the promoters of Yuri Kale and Enrico are perhaps looking to get involved with glory as well. Down goes Wang again, perhaps just out of exhaustion more than anything else. Let's see if Kale can finish him off here or not. He's thrown everything at him but the kitchen sink and this kid's still standing. As he just throws him down again inside 30 seconds now. Safe to say that this crowd is fully behind Yuri Kale in this matchup, but I'll tell you what, there is an entire entourage, there is a small army of, of Chinese supporters here that have made the trip from China to support their, their fighters. And uh, no shortage of support from their side, but I think that uh, it's pretty clear at least from my vantage point, that that was uh, three rounds for Kale. Let's take a look at some of that action there. Beautiful sweep there from Kale as he took him right off his fleet. And that is a hard crash landing in this ring. I've seen them put this ring up and take it down a couple of times. There's a thin layer of padding and then it's all just wood and steel. So that takes a toll as well. Let's go up to the ring. Now, so three rounds of action. We have a winner by unanimous decision. And he comes from the red corner. Yuri, the play. Kale wins.
wins it by unanimous decision. No shocker there. Wang Pengfei is back to the drawing board. And uh, a bit of redemption for Yuri Kale. Is the last time he was in China, he lost. And so he now gets a win over a WFL fighter. It's good news for him.